Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another Costco haul. Y'all know I love Costco hauls and somehow I have already found myself back here again. Anyways, let's go ahead in. I'm also going to be sharing with you my entire meal plan for these next two weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's go find some new fun stuff at Costco. You guys, spring is coming. Summer's even closer. I wish. <laughs> All right, let's head in. Whenever I grab any kind of clothing from Costco, I feel like I have really good luck with it. I don't know if they just carry really nice stuff, but these bike shorts, I thought I'd share them for you guys that are getting into warmer weather. We're not quite there yet, but $15 for two of them. You cannot beat that deal. They've got like the camo, the black, and then you have this one, which comes with like a plum and black. These are pretty. It's a set of two mango wood lanterns. They have like a rope detailing on the top, matte black and mango wood essentially kind of like an oaky color and then you can open these up and put in like some faux candles you can even do the flickering ones make them look as realistic as possible these in front of your fireplace or even i don't know if you can put them outdoor but if you can like on your covered patio that would look awesome too forty dollars i know it's hard to see what we're looking at here but i love this coat rack it's so modern looking it's got matte black detailing a really dark wood and then you flip out what you need for your coats. Oh, that is cool, $75 for that. Not something I usually gravitate towards, but with becoming homeowners here soon, hopefully, <laughs> we are looking at like leaf blowers and wet dry vacuums and stuff like that. I figure lots of you guys are looking at that too. And because it's spring, they have all this stuff out here right now. So you can get this, uh, it's called a jet blower. It's an 80 volt for 279, or you could get this, wet dry back from DeWalt for $100. A new kind of whisk that I've never seen here before. These are just little cheese crisps. They're like crackers kind of, but you know, cheese. These ones are Asiago and Pepper Jack. Keto friendly it says, but definitely not dairy free, $8.99. Ketchup is on the list. This is the best one that they have here. They don't really have any other options. So this really is the best one here. The ingredients are not terrible. I hate that it has natural flavors in it, but it's a three pack of the Heinz Simply Ketchup for $9.79. Most of you guys probably already know this, but do you know what's on sale? It's our favorite marinara sauce. It's on sale for $2.80 off, making it $8.19 for two of these massive jars. You cannot find that any cheaper anywhere else, I promise you. So we're gonna get a couple of these. We need at least two for the next two weeks anyways. The limit is five, so just grab five. Chia seeds are also on the list. I'm going to be making the banana muffins that I love to make. They're in my breakfast freezer meals video. <laughs> Words are hard today, you guys. I'm gonna grab one of these bags and I will link that video down below for you guys. So if you wanna check out that recipe, it's super easy, it's super friendly. They're so good. But chia seeds are in there instead of eggs as like a binder and you can't even tell. They're completely gluten-free and vegan. $7.99 for a three pound bag. So this is by far the cheapest I see chia seeds. Um, especially organic ones. You guys, I am so sad. <laughs> I told you guys about the beef free pitas that I saw here and so many of you guys said that you love them for mini pizzas. Like I was seeing that suggestion over and over again. Well, I got here and they're gone this time. So just goes to show you if you're even curious about anything from Costco, just grab it when you see it. You never know when it's gonna go away. We are walking down the olive oil aisle right now. I'm looking for some pine nuts because we are going to be making some homemade ba um, basil pesto, which I can also freeze. So I'm gonna make a big batch of it. I feel like Costco used to have so many options and I don't know if we are just a smaller Costco here or what's going on, but this was my only option for nuts. So I grabbed some pecans because we're gonna be making some of those snowball cookies. You know, the ones that you make around Christmas time? Yeah, well, Logan and I love them. So we're gonna make them now. I'm gonna throw a bag of their, those in there. I usually would get organic nuts, but again, not an option here. They also did not have pine nuts, so that'll go on my list for the regular grocery store, which is why I always shop at Costco first to see if they have it. But they finally came back with their organic creamy peanut butter. I told you guys last time they did not even have this option. $10 for two of these big jars. So these keep really well in food storage. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these guys. It does call for some kind of nut butter or seed butter in the muffins that I'm making with the chia seeds as well. So that'll go perfect. 
I just grabbed a six pack of these organic black beans down here. We have quite a few recipes that these are gonna be used in this week. We'll probably end up with like two leftover cans, maybe three. Oh, it's, a, it's actually an eight pack, but for $6, that's what it is. So way cheaper to get organic beans here if you can find them at your Costco. This Costco has a lot more bean options than my last one. But we're also gonna grab some of this minced garlic right here. This is like the most massive jar of minced garlic ever. It lasts me like beyond a year, even if I'm using it for every meal, but $4.99, you cannot beat that price. I was at the regular grocery store just yesterday and it was $4.99 for like a tiny one. Tell me organic strawberry lemonade on like a hot summer day does not sound so refreshing right now. I know we're still in the dead of winter, you guys, but $6.69 for two of them. I'm gonna grab it because anytime I'm like, ooh, that juice sounds good, I'll try it next time, it's never here next time. So I just threw it in my cart right down there, but we're actually gonna head to the other side of the aisle right here. And I'm going for these apple sauces, just the plain ones this time. They're $8.99 for 24 of them and they're organic. I actually have to grab four. Yes, you heard it, four boxes. <laughs> I'm grabbing two for my sister-in-law. They just came to Costco the other day and she was like, shoot, I forgot applesauce. If you go back there anytime soon, will you grab me some? So two boxes for her, two boxes for us. You guys, the Annie cinnamon rolls are back. At least at mine, they're back. I haven't seen these guys in a while. They're the organic cinnamon rolls. I've heard they're very good. They're not allergy friendly, but if you're looking for a better option, organic is always gonna give you at least less pesticides sprayed on there. You get three cans in there for $10.89. Did anybody else already guess that I was coming down here? <laughs> I'm gonna grab three of these guys. They freeze really, really well. They're the Siete almond flour tortillas. I love them. We eat them for quesadillas. We eat them for tacos. I'm gonna make enchiladas this week and I'm gonna make a double batch. So definitely need some of these guys. You get 20 of them for $11.89. If you have tried these before and you're like, ooh, they're waxy and gross, they are not. So you have to heat them before you eat them. So basically just like these organic uncooked tortillas right here, which if you eat wheat, these are also very good. Good. you just heat up your pan and literally heat them for like 15 seconds on each side and that's it they're ready to go we ran out of shredded cheese I usually have so much on hand and I don't think Derek knew what to do with himself 1479 so it's definitely gone up in price a little bit but nothing compared to last year last year for some reason for like two months it was like $18 for both of these it was insane I don't know why some kind of cheese shortage look they're doing a special event for bitch and sauce you guys know we love this stuff this one let's see that's the pesto they have their regular like chipotle one what's that one cilantro chili and original i just grabbed some of our favorite crackers these almond flour ones from simple mills they have amazing ingredients in them ten dollars and you get two bags of them in there it's like a great price for them but did you guys know that these ones the crunch master multigrains are also gluten-free and vegan i had zero idea 9.79 and that's what they were serving out there with the bitchin sauces and it was really good okay these are so cute five cheese ravioli they're by nevo new nuovo something like that they're going away ten dollars but they're little shamrock raviolis that is perfect for saint patrick's day okay but here's the bitchin sauce i'm definitely gonna get at least one of them ten dollars for three seven or three eight ounce variety so you can get this one it's got the original, the cilantro chili, and the pesto in it. So incredibly good. But I think I might go for the spinach artichoke, the roasted green chili, and pepita, and the green onion one, because this roasted green chili one was amazing. I love anything spinach artichoke. But these guys are all gluten-free and vegan, and whole food ingredients. They are so good. We're doing some carnitas bowls this week. You get it for $17.99. Gosh, that's kind of expensive. Uh, I'll go with it anyways because I'm not close to Costco anymore so I just have to get it when I see it but it does come with two separate meals in here uh, we can easily just use one and freeze the other and it lasts for two times for us yay I am so excited I have been waiting for Amy Lou to come back with a burger that didn't have cheese in it for the longest time they had the kale and mozzarella one here which I'm sure is great but I don't do cheese so these ones are the three pepper chicken burgers. It's got red, green, and yellow bell peppers along with a bunch of spices in there. No dairy, no gluten, $15 for that. And I think you get at least eight of them in there, if not more. They're individually packaged. They look super easy to reheat, so perfect for lunches. But these guys are going away. I'm so sad at the teriyaki pineapple meatballs. They're so good. Kids love them. They're gluten-free, uh, not vegan. I was about to say vegan. LOL, it's chicken, Rachel. 
uh, just under $15 for those guys. Currently waiting in line for a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> now, this is something I have never done before. Mini carrot cakes, you guys. Ugh, I wish Costco made more things gluten and dairy free, but let me tell you, these are so good. If you do not have any allergies, pick up these for Easter if you love carrot cake. I love carrot cake. It has been such a long time since I've bought dates, but they have these organic dates here. Just make sure you pit them before you eat them like if you've never had dates before. I keep them in the fridge. You can also keep them in the freezer. We're gonna be making some peanut butter and chocolate stuffed dates this week. Dates are just a superfood for you. $10.99 for two pounds, which is a fairly good price. I don't think these have gone up in price yet, but I also went ahead and grabbed some organic honey crisp apples right here. Ooh, and some lime because we had a lot of Mexican type food coming in. I just grabbed a bag of these yellow gold potatoes right here because honestly, the package got me. Don't those like little french fry wedges look so good? And then I also grabbed some of the sweet potatoes that are just right down there in the blue boxes. I was going through my Instagram for meal ideas because I have three different recipes highlights. Thank you, sissy. Three different recipes highlights on there that have tons of different meal ideas in there. And I was looking back through some of the ones that are older and I was like, oh wow, I haven't made some of these little sweet potato bowls in a long time where I do like lettuce and sweet potatoes and black beans and things like that and just like a yummy sauce over all of it. And it's like kind of like a nourished power bowl. Anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing for some lunches this week. So I need to head into the cold section right now which is right in there and grab some lettuce. We are filling up quick here. Let me take you around and show you what I just grabbed in the little refrigerated section over there. We grabbed some sweet corn. This should be or bought organic, but most of these things, if they're not organic, it's because there wasn't an option to buy it organic. So I'm doing what I can with what I have. We also grabbed some organic butter lettuce. I'm so excited for this stuff. I love butter lettuce. And this one is the living butter lettuce. So I can actually replant this and regrow it for this year if I really wanted to. We grabbed a watermelon, two things of blueberries right back here. Some thing, a thing of um, bell peppers. I love this pack that it comes in because it's just so easy. Um, and then we grabbed some asparagus right down there, some Brussels sprouts. We got some mushrooms because we are going to be making 50 50 burgers this week i'm so excited about that it's 50 percent mushroom just really chopped up real fine and then 50 percent ground beef and they are so good and then along with the bitchin sauces i grabbed some of these little cucumber bites because they're just so easy to grab out of the fridge for a quick snack you don't have to think about cutting them up which is a win-win in my opinion some organic ground beef for us to go with those 50 50 burgers this should not come as a surprise to any of you who've been around here for any sort of time, but I grabbed a bag of these dark sweet cherries. They're in the frozen section for 10 bucks. And then I also grabbed this specific bag. It's the Kirkland Organic Blueberries right here for $8.99. It did go up a dollar, which is such a bummer, but I use these in my berry freeze. So basically all you do is you take some frozen berries, pour them in a bowl. I like to do a mixture of blueberry and cherry, and then you pour in your almond milk or whatever on top. I typically use almond milk it'll kind of freeze together and then you're gonna break it apart with your spoon and add on any toppings that you like. It's called Berry Freeze. <laughs> um, and I'm telling you guys, it is kind of addictive. I get tons of messages from you guys saying the exact same thing. I thought it was gonna be so boring because it's just berries and for some reason, you just keep coming back for more. So I like to put granola on it, nuts, um, peanut butter, honey, whatever you wanna do grabbing some of the world's best pickles here and they uh, in my opinion they are these are the dill chips from Grillo's pickles 5.99 for these guys we're having again those 50 50 burgers so definitely grabbing some of those um we've already eaten the entire other one that we just got a couple weeks ago and they finally heard our cries you guys and they made the packaging much easier to get into these were not on my list this week but i am grabbing them because it's the first time i've seen them in forever they're the yo-yo bears or whatever they're called anyways logan loves these they're just fruit rolls strawberry raspberry and mango um and great ingredients these are the only ingredients apples pears strawberries and black carrot ex extract so we're gonna grab some of these guys and they are ten dollars for 24. These hippies are awesome. We love them. They're great for dipping and I got all that uh, bitchin' sauce, so we're definitely grabbing one of these. They're usually on sale, not today, but that's okay. 
for this massive bag of them. Okay, you guys, we are done shopping. I need to show you what all is in this cart. And trust me, I do hear you. I got so many comments this last time saying, can you please show us when you get home what your groceries all look like? And yes, when we move into a house, I will be able to. Right now, I do not have the space to lay all this out, um, which I know sounds crazy, but it's just the way like the kitchen is laid out and everything. So would you like more? She's asking for more of this like little chili that they had out this week for trying. Here, let me get you some more. I gotta blow it off first. Hang on. You like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Let's start off with the top here. We have the yo-yo bears, two things of bananas. We also have some mushrooms over here, as well as both of the bitchin' sauce ones. I figured there's enough of them, in, uh, enough of us in the house to eat all those. And then some of the snack cucumbers. In this big old cart right here, we've got some dates, some corn, and right under that, we have two things of organic ground turkey. We have four of the applesauces. We have some organic ground beef right here. Right under that are some carnitas for some carnitas bowls this week. We have some Brussels sprouts, apples. We grabbed some of these Siete tortilla chips. These are great for nachos. And that's what Derek prefers for his lunches during the week. Some of the hippies right here. Right under these chips, we've got three rotisserie chickens. Yes, count them, three. Um, some shredded cheese right down there. We have some living butter lettuce. We grabbed some of the strawberry lemonade. Grillo's pickles down there along with some strawberries right in the back. We've got some bell peppers and some asparagus. These Simple Mills crackers, which will also be great for dipping. I'm seeing like some charcuterie plates in our near future. We also have three of the Rayo sauces down here. I would have grabbed five, but I'm trying to remind myself I don't have food storage in this house. But some minced garlic, peanut butter right under there, limes, three things of the Siete tortillas, which freeze great. The teriyaki pineapple meatballs, I had to get them because they're going away. Some of these three pepper chicken burgers right down here. We grabbed some ketchup. We have some onions under here, dark sweet cherries, organic blueberries, some sweet potatoes, gold potatoes right back there, and some black beans. We have chia seeds tucked away right in there, a watermelon, and some blueberries. And I think that is it, you guys. I'm wondering how much this is gonna be because the cart looks really full. And then I, as I was going through that, I was like, that's actually not that much stuff. Well you know, for six of us for two weeks. As far as meals go for this week, I've been sharing them with you throughout the video, but I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little meal plan, little rundown of what we're having here. I write down all my meals on the top of my grocery list and then my groceries for Costco on the front and the regular grocery store on the back. So we are having nachos, which we had last night. Pizza, homemade pizzas. <laughs> you don't like pizza? We're doing some honey and lime chicken enchiladas, a chicken taco casserole. Okay, I have to put you guys down while I talk to you because she's going crazy, she wants to eat. We're doing an instant pot beef roast with like carrots and potatoes. And I was going to get the beef roast here, but again, we're like running out of space. So I'm just gonna get that at the regular grocery store. We are doing a shepherd's pie, which I already have frozen and ready to go because I doubled it. You saw that on my Instagram if you were watching my stories. We're doing some pesto chicken sliders, sloppy joes over tater tots instead of buns, just for something a little bit different. We're doing enchilada chicken soup, a pasta night with all the family, and we are making the marinara pasta with some ground turkey in there. We're doing carnitas bowls, some sweet potato bowls, and then 50-50 burgers. And that is what we're doing a lot of those recipes you guys you can find on my instagram under my recipes highlights i have three different ones and yes good job um other than that i will be sharing on my stories so make sure you're following me over there i like to share like i try to share nightly it's getting a little hectic around dinner time these days but i try to share nightly what we're having for dinner that day or what i'm having for lunch so if you guys need meal ideas head on over there motherhood just want to see what we're up to on a day-to-day -day basis and we will see you guys next time make sure you like this video and subscribe we'll be back with more costco hauls soon and sissy wants more chili <laughs> bye